gieo mầm yêu thương hạnh phúc đồng hành cùng con trẻ Well, hello everybody. You are listening to the bilingual fairy tale series, a product from Cultural House of Youth in Ho Chi Minh City. Hello, boys and girls. Today we will listen to a story about three adorable little pigs. Before we get into the story, I have a small question for you. Among a house made of straw, a house made of wood. And a stable house made of brick. Which one do you prefer to build? Which one is the strongest in your opinion? Let's think about a small question while we listen to the following story. Well, let's get right into the new adventure with three little pigs. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs. Who left their parents' house to see the world? All summer long, they roamed through the woods and over the plains, playing games and having fun. They easily make friends with everyone. They went swimming with the duck, flower picking with the rabbit, and fighting honey with the bear. But as summer drew to a close and autumn came with red and golden leaves. They realized that all of their friends were drifting back to their usual jobs and preparing for winter. The three little pigs started to feel they needed to settle for a home. They knew that the fun was over now, and they must set to work like the others, or they would be left in the cold and the rain, with no proof over their heads. They discussed what to do. But each decided for himself. The oldest, laziest little pig said he would build a straw hut. It will only take a day, he said. The other disagreed. They said it was too fragile, but he refused to listen. He hit some straws and dry leaves on some thin poles tied together, and settled for it happily. Not quite so lazy, the middle little pig decided to build a house out of wood. He bought cheap planks of wood from the local carpenter. It took him two days to saw and nail them together. The second pig was happy about his house too, as it was a little more solid than his brother's hut. So, how about the third little pig, and also the youngest? He did not like the wooden house, nor the straw hut. He said, "It takes time, patience, and hard work to build a house that is strong enough to stand up to wind, rain, and snow, and most of all, protect us from the wolf. I will build a house out of brick." To find bricks, the youngest pig had to travel to a very far brickyard and carry back a big. Heavy wagon of freshly baked bricks. He mixed limestone, clay, and sand to make cement to stick the bricks together. The youngest pig was very hardworking and worked day and night to build the house. The days passed, and the youngest little pig's house took shape, brick by brick. From time to time, his brothers visited him. Laughing and saying, "Hey, why are you working so hard? Why don't you come and play?" But the determined youngest pig just said, "No, I shall finish my house first. It must be strong, and then I will come and play with you later." Now, children, the youngest pig was so hardworking. Don't you think so? Even though he was laughed at by his brothers. He did his best to build a strong and stable house that can withstand the upcoming winter. Actually, winter did not need to be a challenge. The three houses of the pig brothers soon faced a test 
brought by an evil guy, the big bad wolf. Let's continue the story to know what happened next. One day, the little pigs found the tracks of the big wolf in their neighborhood, and immediately rushed back to their old home in alarm. Along came the wolf, scowling fiercely at the owner's pig straw hut. Come out! Ordered the wolf, his mouth watering. I want to speak to you. Oh, oh okay. I'll rather stay here where I am. Replied the little pig in a tiny voice. I will make you come out! Growled the wolf angrily, and puffing out of his chest, he took a very deep breath. Then he blew with all of his might right onto the house, on the straw, and the silly pig has hit against some thin posts. Fell down, excited by his own cleverness. The wolf did not notice that the little pig had slipped out from underneath the heap of straw, and was dashing towards his brother's wooden house. When he realized that the little pig was escaping, the wolf grew wild with rage. "Come back!" he roared, trying to catch the pig as he ran into the wooden house. "Oh, I hope this house won't fall down. Let's lean against the door." So that he can't break in," said the little pig to his brother. He prayed that the wooden house would not collapse like his brother's straw hut. Outside, the wolf could hear the little pig's words, starving as he was, at the idea of the two-course meal. He rang close on the door. "Open up! Open up! I want to speak to you." Inside. The two brothers wept in fear, and did their best to hold the door fast against the blows. Then the furious wolf drew in a really enormous breath, and then wooden planks flew all over the place, and the house collapsed like a pack of cards. Oh dear! Do you remember how the owners? And the middle pigs were really proud of their houses, since they spent little time building it. Both houses were very fragile, and could not withstand the attack from the wolf. Poor little pigs! If they had known the result, they would have put more time and effort into building the house. But don't worry. Let's see if the youngest and the most hardworking pig's house. Can win the big bad wolf or not? Luckily, the wisest little pig had been watching the scene from the window of his own brick house, and he rapidly opened the door to his fleeing brothers. Soon after, the wolf came hammering furiously on the door. This time, the wolf has doubts. This house was much more solid than the others. He blew once. He blew again, and then for the third time. Hmm. But all of them were in vain. He even tried to push and kick onto the walls of brick, but the house did not budge an inch. The three little pigs watched him, and then their fear began to fade away. Quite exhausted by his efforts. The wolf decided to try one of his tricks. He climbed up a nearby ladder, onto the roof, and had a look at the chimney. However, the youngest little pig had heard the sound on the roof, and he guessed the wolf's evil plan. And then he quickly said to his brothers, "Quickly, light the fire now!" With his long legs thrust down the chimney. The wolf tried to slide down the black hole. He was unsure, but the sound of the little pigs' voices below only made him feel hungrier. Hey, I'm dying of hunger. I'm going to try and get down. And he let himself drop down, but landing was rather hot. Mm, too hot. The wolf landed in the fire. The flames licked his hairy coat. And his tail became a flaring torch. 
Never again will I go down a chimney," he swelled. As he tried to put out the flame in his tail, he jumped out of the window to the pond to put out the fire. Then he ran away as fast as he could. The three little pigs were safe. The brick house was strong enough to withstand the wolf's attack and protect them from being his dinner. The three happy little pigs, dancing around and around the yard, began to sing, "Sha la la, sha la la." The wicked black wolf will never come back. From that terrible day on, the wisest little pigs brothers set to work with the will. In less than no time, up went the two new brick houses. The three pigs brothers even taught everyone in the neighborhood to build brick houses that were strong enough to withstand the upcoming cold winter. They became fine masters that were well known in the woods. Now, safe and happy, the wisest little pig called to his brothers, "No more work. Come on, let's go and play." As winter came, the pigs lit the fire in their warm, strong, cozy brick house, and they invited their friend—I mean the duck, the bear, and the rabbit. Do you remember them? They invited them to join for the Christmas dinner. You might ask, what happened to the evil wolf? Well, his hair and his tail could never grow back after the accident. So he was left with a hairless tail for good. The wolf did try to return once to roam in the neighborhood, but when he caught sight of three chimneys, he remembered the terrible pain of the burned tail, and then he was never in sight again. You see, hard work and dedication always pay off. I hope that all the boys and girls listening to this story will always be hardworking like the youngest little pig. Now, the three little pigs' adventure has come to an end. I will see you next time with an even more exciting adventure. Goodbye and stay safe. Gieo mầm yêu thương, hạnh phúc. 